<clears throat> so a cricketer named Chris Gale, who I'm just gonna admit I've never heard of, I've never seen in action or anything. So I'm not well versed on how well he is at cricketeering, nor do I purport to be an expert in uh, knowledge around this man. I do know, however, that the uh, incident that he was involved in uh, stemmed from this woman apparently coming up to him and you know, complimenting his skills and her, him telling her, oh, you know, you can come with me and get a drink afterwards, some of that effect. Um, and after afterwards, she uh, said something else to him and his exact words were, don't blush, baby. Now that that was the um, comment he made that ended up costing him ten thousand dollars. Don't blush, baby. So these three words, I want to just keep. I'm gonna emphasize, emphasize this. These three words landed him a giant fine. Of ten thousand dollars, <throat> three words, and you know there were charges that it was sexual harassment or other charges that it was inappropriate. You know, the whole thing with uh, comments of that nature and things of that uh, status that express interest in the person of the opposite sex. Um, really are kind of, uh, in my view, not consequential because we have so many things on television, uh, so many things available really everywhere that allows you to see that same type of comment being made. I, I really just saw this him flirting, him trying to get with some girl. I'm not aware of his relationship status, so... I'm uh, I'm just assuming that he was uh, trying to. I mean, he asked basically, you know, CNN's articles that he propositioned her, which kind of sounds a little suggestive. But then at the same time, what he said was suggestive. And all I can really get at is that it, it's not a big deal. It, you know, they have a whole section down there of comments people made in regards to this, and calling it inappropriate and disrespectful but you know when I think of inappropriate comments I think of some use of maybe profanity and just kind of speaking in a vulgar language and, um, making some obscene gesture like grabbing let's say this woman's breasts or some other uh, physical contact I go up to you and I say hey, don't blush baby you know what's Again, I'm not... Was it in front of the best audience? Maybe not, but it certainly <clears throat> didn't elicit the um, negative attention it's given him, and definitely, definitely not the fine. That was ridiculous. There's no reason why a man should be... Get, have all of that money, uh, uh, I guess, ejected from him. Because he tries to flirt with some girl that apparently had no problem talking to him. She approached him. You know, I'm not trying to say two wrongs make a right or her doing what she did initiated that, but their contact was started by her. And I don't think she should be at fault for this. I really, you know, he's accountable for what he said, but it's not worth getting upset over what is the big deal about somebody I say things to uh, the girls all the time what's the big deal okay yeah it wasn't on live TV but still I don't get it you know I don't I don't see how this is sexist I don't see how this is I can kind of see maybe you, you call it inappropriate but I, people make out in public people do all kind of stuff and yes yeah, sometimes it gets caught on TV so no I, I don't I don't see where the the uh fanfare comes from on this one I, I don't I, I just can't I'm blind my uh, senses aren't working 
So again, I, I don't get it. It's really amazing to me that the man lost all that money over one comment, you know, three words, just or four words, however many it was, but it's ridiculous.